TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live. But you can give a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK, man. Right above me, if we do go live and you happen to miss it, this is the twitch.com. Type in the lit one. As you can see right here. And you know, I think it holds the, the broadcast for like two, three weeks. You can fast forward, rewind, do your thing, man. Don't forget, we also got merch. And we also got Patreon, which I am locked out of right now. But we will figure it out. I'm on the emails. You know how emails take long. Anyway, the link to all that is down below. But this is the British seaside town overrun with feral yobs. I don't even know what that means. I don't know if I just said a slur or not. I don't know what's going on. If I did, I apologize. But blame it on window. Hit that like button, man. Let's get into it. Welcome to, or should I say, welcome back to the English Riviera, and more specifically, Paynton. Okay, first and foremost, is that a dog taking an S-H-I-T behind him on camera? In Devon. Now I passed through the, beach? the Riviera about three months ago with Backpacker Ben, and we mostly filmed in Torquay and then in Brixham. And we only quickly passed through Paynton, but you know me, yeah, I like to properly scratch the surface with what places. And upon closer investigation on the old Tinter web, I found out that Paynton has got a really bad reputation recently. And I'm gonna have to read off my phone to read all these articles. It doesn't take much <coughs> to uh, find out that I've got some problems with unruly behavior. The mirror, and I'll put these things on screen now. The mirror. Keep in mind, I was on the mirror <clears throat> for my TikToks. I was in there. Brit seaside town overrun with feral knife-toting rooftop yobs as young as nine. The sun. Our seaside town is tormented by feral. I was on the sun too. Feral kids as young as nine. Gangs terrorise us from rooftops. The moment that triggered decline of our famous West Country town that's overrun with yobs. That's Bristol Live. The list goes on. So, I mean, I feel like it's easy to blame like the downfalls of where you're from on a particular group of people because you know, human nature is to scapegoat and not look outside ourselves and what's going on. But let's see what he's finding. I'm in Devon for a couple of days, and I thought, let's get to the bottom of this. Is it really that bad in Paynton? Because at the moment, it seems that the town isn't the happiest place to be. Or are those notorious tabloids sensationalizing the issue? Let's investigate. Let's go hit the streets of Paynton and see what people have to say about the town. Are all of these seaside towns full of just like carnival attractions? Like all of them in the UK? Like dang, that's crazy. Like literally no one comes there in the, in the, in the cold weather this is like was this a great move is it are these still hustling and bustling businesses but what what is this what's this called S steel tom drum steel tom drum ah uh, that's one of those things that go how long you been playing it nice. um, i only got this one a couple days ago yeah i had one like last year so you're still learning yeah. yeah, I just make it up. People ask me, like, how do you do it? And I just make it up as I go, I'm not just hitting everything. Will you play it for me, what you've, what you've learned so far? Yeah, I'll just make it up. Uh, go for it. <laughs> no pressure. I haven't slept, I feel like a man. Like, I'm sorry. I can tell. Yeah, you strung out on something, ma'am. Sorry, continue. <laughs> continue. Uh, you filming it now? Yeah. Oh, dear. Um, don't, don't worry about it. Beautiful, honestly, considering that you've only just learned how to do it, it's really beautiful. I used to have one very similar. It's a beautiful sound. It was nice, it did sound nice. The dog wasn't feeling it, but... You know. Yeah. Can I... 
No offense, she gotta be up. I ain't even. Yeah, can I give you some money to get some food for the dog? That's your dog, yeah. There's two in there. Two dogs, then I better give you some to get money. Oh, I can see the other one now, the other head mm -hmm. of one. And they broke my own sister. Yeah. <coughs> it's beautiful. Yeah, hey. With the hopes of getting dog food. Well, isn't it? It's really like um, therapeutic, relaxing, yeah, very delicate. Yeah. Here you go, here's some, here's some money for the dogs as well, and if you want to use some, okay. What's your name, my love? Uh, Safi. Safi, yeah, my name's Wendell, yeah. Hi. Yeah. Do you want to go anyway? Do I want to go, yeah. Will you, will you film me playing it? Yes. Yeah. Will you hold that? And what, how do I have it, like on my lap like that? I uh, have you, we want yeah. it's got like... Just point that at me. There you go, you're my camera person. Do I know if it... <laughs> Take the thing and go around it and make the sound. I've seen this before. Like when people be off shrooms, they be with this. Most beautiful instrument I've uh, I've ever heard. It's beautiful. It's so um so relaxing. It's actually good. Isn't it? Yeah. I used to play drums, so I've got my rhythm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Listen, if you want to become. She is off. She is coming down. It's a shithole. So on the trains, the metros in the, uh, Florida, like they come through here like this on the tracks, and like I be seeing people with. T I seen a whole neighborhood right here. If I can, man, if I could go like get an interview, they was cooking in there and everything. Like they was living off the land. I seen kids. I seen a TV. I'm like, where y'all get a power source from? That's tough. <laughs> that was tough. It's a shithole. Why do you, why do you say that? Well, this is nothing to do for children. Yeah. It's dirty, like there's dog shit everywhere. I nearly, just coming around the corner there, there's a the huge, dog, yeah, and it's, I pick it's it up smeared. All the time, but you walk around the town, you just see piles of shit everywhere. Yeah. Like they're closing down the multi-story car parks, there's empty shops. Yeah. And it's, it's just dive. I read um, that there's like gangs of like youths like causing yeah, trouble. The other Have day you seen on, that? On, yeah, I read Devon Live the other day. Yeah. And there was an 11-year-old that got arrested for drunk and disorderly. Really? Yeah. At 11? At 11. I had my first beer at 11. It's the UK. 11. <laughs> I was a bit older than that. Most of the kids around here before. 11. Yeah. You look fantastic, sir. Can I film you a little bit for my video? You're playing Christmas carols, yeah? Pardon? You're playing Christmas carols? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm not familiar with the tune. I'm trying to pinpoint what it is. It gotta be a UK tune or something. UK Christmas Carol. Do you live in Paynton? Yes. Yeah, what's Paynton like as a place to live in? Well, I think it's since 1963. Yeah. Which is 60 years. I'm 80 years old now. Okay, yeah. Well, 80, you look, you look younger than 80. He only look about 72. And although, uh, from a physical point of view, uh, like everywhere in this country. I hope I looked that young when I was 80, low key, man. The deterioration is very noticeable now. Lack of maintenance, uh, buildings, I mean, council haven't got, it, or they have money, but they spend it in different ways. When I came in 63, the gardens were kept absolutely pristine. Yeah. And Which gardens is that? The Victoria Gardens? All the gardens. The everywhere in Torbay, because they used to win nearly every year with Dartmouth, the Britain in Bloom contest. Yeah. And all that's gone. Oh, that's, that's a shame. Gone, which is a shame. Yeah. And uh, the town basically attracted retired people yep. over the years. So y'all have mayors out there? Like, who runs the town? Like, you know, the city of Chicago, we have a mayor of Florida. Like, the different counties in Florida have mayors or whatever. Like, is there, like, a person in particular who you can blame for the downfall that is not civilians? We were unusual for a married couple to come here. I married at 20 and came to live here 
because my wife went to school at Totnes, you know Totnes? Yeah, yeah, just up the road. And, uh, and we've had a very happy married life. She's in heaven now, bless her. Oh, lost her yeah. six Sorry years. Sorry to ago. hear that, mate. Yeah. But played in the army band for 60 years. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, I could hear you up the road and I was drawn to you. Still doing it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, so you've uh, seen it change a lot. There's a lot of unease around now, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Pe people are not as relaxed as they were. But as a place and a place to live in the country, everywhere around here is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it's in a beautiful spot. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful walks and the yeah. sea is always there, but it's, if you like, I think it's the mess we are making of it. Is yeah, what the yeah. Problem is. yeah. What's your name, my friend? Melvin. Melvin. Yeah. Right. My name's Wendell. Nice to meet you. Okay. Thank you. W cutscene. The last time I visited, it was summer, and now it's December, so you would expect it to be quieter in Paynton. When I visited in August. This whole green on the front, by the seafront, it was uh, jam-packed with a fun fair, amusements, and it was very busy. And obviously, so it's, bad, yeah. it's quieter now because it's December. But I will say that I'm pleasantly surprised at how busy painting is. There are a lot of people knocking around. It is a Saturday, but I expected it to be like a ghost town in December, out of season, but it's not. There are a lot of families staying in the hotel that I'm staying in that seem to be going to the Polar Express, which is uh, oh, that's cool. like a train ride for kids, I think, about 10 miles up the road. We have that too. I don't know if they have it in Florida, but there's definitely it in Chicago. They do it on the regular CTA train, and they do it um, on the metros and things of that nature. So, there is some life in winter, at least today, this Saturday in December, in Painton. There's a lot of... Um It's not like it was when I was a kid, you know, I lived here all my life. You, know? but you lived here all your life? So I, I read that, that, was it the Nortel Electronics Factory that closed at like the start of the yeah, that's right. 2000s? Yeah. yeah. And that's that was like, like the biggest employer in the town, really. Yeah. yeah. So another example of like um, a main employer town yeah. that's lost its main employer and yeah. a bit of deprivation, yeah? Yeah, that's right. Okay, this seems like the main drag of what I would call the real paint and high street. And at the moment, I can't see any boarded up shops, which is something we normally see in these high streets around Britain. That's a fact. That's what I'm saying. This one seems much better than uh, the normal places that we be in with Wendell. Every shop seems to have something in. And there's they're not pound shops and bookies for the most part. Most of them are what I would call normal run of the mill shops. So the people are saying that there are problems here, but see I've any. seen worse high streets than this. So what's life like in Payton? Yeah, Seems it's like wonderful. I've been a couple here for years and the uh, footballers I came here. And, um, you came as a footballer? Yeah, from yeah. Southampton to Torquay. Yeah. And um, worked and lived here and had a family. And When I put Payton into Google, yeah. lots of news articles came up about like there's some problems like with like groups of jobs. And, That's uh, the thing with the news, man. They be overdoing it. Like, just like with Chicago. Y'all think Chicago is the worst place on earth. Like. It ain't, but it ain't, it, it's not as, it's, it, okay, well, it's, it's like that, but it's also very great as well. Like, for civilians, like, if a UK person comes there, like, I'm not going to encounter anything bad. No, <laughs> you, gotta be, you haven't seen anything. I don't. Yeah. Maybe down the car park or something, but I don't get down there. To it's be, a car to park down that way, yeah. Yeah, it's down there, Garfield Road, yeah. Like some zombies is in there. But you think it's a good town? Yeah, absolutely. The people have been yeah. like. My family have grown up, yeah, I've had no problems, yeah. yeah. Children. This is the first washing, this is the first wash place that I've seen in the UK, like a laundromat. Okay, so they've never had any hassle, you know? Yeah. Everyone knows each other, you know, and everyone looks out for each other. I was born in the year 9 number one. Who is it? 
Musical youth. Musical youth. Birmingham man. Is it? Yeah. I'm originally from the Midlands. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You should know them all then. You sound like a brummy, are you? I'm a yam yam. A yam yam. So am I. Yeah, yeah I'm from Neville Rampton. Yeah, nice to meet you, mate. Yeah. Well, you've got a lot of smackheads down here. Lots of them. Yeah. Robberies, burglaries, the lot. Yeah, yam yam, good thing. Are you no. one as well? No, I am not. Oh, okay, there's two I'm of us then. I'm from the other side of the yeah, city. We're all good people down here. Oh, you're, you're posher mm. than us then, yeah? <laughs> I'm from Sutton, Erdington, Borderline. Okay, yeah, yeah. 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 Man, I'm going to issue whatever tickets or TV license complaints you got going on. I don't know. Yeah, I've, I've, been down here. I've been down here off my life. Yeah, half yeah. your life. You ain't yeah. lost your accent. No, so never say, lose it. So you say there are some problems in town? There is, yeah. Slackheads yeah. mainly. Yeah. Yeah, you've got the smackheads. You get into uh, like your estates, the foxhole and all that, yeah? Yeah, kids like they're like, they're not scared of your adults now. Nah. Like, you know, like, <coughs> as a kid, I've got the clout. You know, a smack around the ear roll or anything when I did wrong. You knew if you did something wrong, yeah, you'd we suffer. Knew it. Yeah. yeah, but down here now, like, the kids can get away with murder, you know? So, like, yeah, you get, you get some good kids, some, some are all right. This is uh, half the others, like, you know, they go out. Bro, I almost judged the book by its cover, but this dude is actually well spoken. The drink, drugs, that's it. Yeah, so these reports that I've read about yeah. groups of like young yachts, yeah. they are. It's like, just it true, is true. Yeah. Here, yeah. yeah. Down here a couple of weeks ago, like last uh, yeah, two weeks on a Sunday, someone got stabbed. Really? In the shop, yeah, they were running around the bloody shop. Just around here? Yeah, yeah. The cop on the corner. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it. I uh, walked yeah, past it earlier. Uh, I'm not even going to lie, this town looks. <laughs> <coughs> Very unassuming. They're yeah, like a couple of weeks back. Kids? No, they weren't kids. Like adults? adults stabbing each other. But people have uh, been, uh, been chucked out the window. That's on that plant thing there. Eh? Really? Yeah, woman that chucked, window there? Chucked out the window. She ended up on there, on that plant part. That plant part. Was she badly hurt? No, Must have been. If you fall out the yeah. second floor here. Did you know you could be... <laughs> that seems insane. Coffee at home, 90 flavors of luxury ice cream. So this is a unique feature what of makes ice cream luxury. Ainton that I've never seen anywhere else. Right smack bang in the middle of the town is the railway line crossing. And every now and again the red lights come on and all the pedestrian and vehicular traffic just stops and waits in the middle of the town while it's closed and the train comes through. I think that's quite a unique and fun feature as a first time visitor, but I think if you live here that will become a real pain in the ass. Ah, here we go. Mate, is the Foxholes estate up here? Yeah, yeah. Well, if you're there past the cemetery up that way, you come right to the top. Okay. Of the How long? Who finds the most questionable looking people to ask questions? Is it about 20 minutes or something? Yeah, I've never seen him ask a, like, what we would say normal looking person, like, a question. Yeah. Cheers. Yes, yeah, so I'm just trekking up the hill out of Painton to the Foxholes estate, which a couple of people told me was the roughest estate in Painton. So if these stories of yobs and antisocial behaviour are as accurate as they're portrayed, then surely that's the place to find out. Let's see. Let's trek up the hill check out the notorious Foxholes estate. Imagine putting your camera down, walking up, then walking back down to grab your camera, then really walking back up, then editing it out in post-production. That's hard work, Wendell. I salute you for this. This is some fucking hill up to the old Foxholes estate. Basically, the town's down there by the sea. It's a pretty decent gradient for old Wendell. Getting the blood pumping. Getting the steps in to bring the content. Whew. I don't think I'd like to be in this alley in the Foxholes yeah. estate after it's dark. Away from everything else. Pretty That's sketchy uh, part of this neighbourhood behind the shops here. What's life like in Foxholes? Shit. Shit. Why'd you say that? Dodgy. Dodgy? Yeah. I better get out of here. <laughs> you heard it briefly from that fella. Foxholes estate is dodgy. I think it's time to get back out of here and back to the seafront. Okay. At night time, we do got out of here, it's bro. dangerous. Yeah. What, the, is that like behind here of the park? Yeah. Yeah. You might get stabbed up by children. Victoria Park at night, the skate park? Yeah, no. 
Dangerous. You'll get fucking. Why would they stab me? <laughs> what, to rob me or? No, just no reason at all, man. They just stab me. No it. reason at all, man. They're like twelve. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That's not me, I think the people who paint people just be outside to stop stuff. thinking about themselves so much and start thinking about the community and the people that they're around. I think, yeah. I think if everyone could do that, the world would be so much better. Absolutely, mate. That's 100%. a really, uh, it's a really good way of looking yeah. at society. Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. I'm battling the drizzly conditions in this outro, so I'll keep it quick. But painting, I've I've wandered the streets of the town centre, the estates, looking for evidence of these groups of yobs that have supposedly overrun this town and although I didn't encounter them myself I spoke to several locals who say there are problems with antisocial behaviour and it does blight the experience of living in the town. I think in many ways Peyton's suffering in the same way as its neighbour just behind me there, Torquay. The English Riviera is not the draw that it used to be and consequently life's just gone downhill in many ways. The uh, high street, nearly all the shops have got. In my opinion, man, it's not that bad. It didn't look that bad, but you know, the experience from outside looking in or a visitor is always different than somebody living there. And at the end of the day, Wendell, you did what you could. You found the most questionable three people in this whole town and you you went up to them and asked them questions. So salute. TLL, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'm gone.